stuff doesn't make itself. No, the latest and greatest technology like the vertical takeoff joint strike fighter and the robot controlled global hawk are designed and manufactured by teams of talented and skilled individuals working together to create amazing things. And you can be a part of these teams with way less schooling than what you might think. A two-year associate's degree is all it takes to be an engineering technician, working with manufacturing engineers and others to launch the latest technologies. Get the degree and you could be working on bleeding edge technology in no time. We work on all the rotating components in the engine, uh, the fan, compressor wheels, turbine wheels, uh, those all fall under our area of responsibility. So the basic premises of a jet engine is suck, squeeze, bang, blow. You, you start with the fan um, at the front end and that's where you're going to intake a big portion of your air into the engine. Um, as the air comes through, it moves into the compressor and they, they squeeze it down. The compressed air is then fed into a combustor where they add fuel and ignite that compressed air. And that's when you get your, I'll call it a bunch of mini explosions. So you get this blow effect back through the turbine. The turbine goes back and drives your fan. The AE3007 is the engine that is used in the Global Hawk. Um, it's also used in the uh, V22 Offspray. It's a smaller engine, um, more fuel efficient, designed for the size plane of the Global Hawk. So you're going to get a lower cost engine that delivers the needs of the customer. Rolls Royce does do a great job of providing training on how their engines work. It's dynamic, it's fast paced. Um, new challenges come up every day.